Welcome back guys. So today I'll be showing you how to do something that is uh, useless but nevertheless is fun. And it's a punching bag. As you guys can see, you can punch it this way, this way left, right. And this is the interesting part is I actually have a punching bag in Unity. And I'm hitting it forward, backward. Now this is to the right, this is to the left, and this is to forward and right. Let me just make sure that you guys see the whole thing. You know, I can constantly be hitting it. This is what. Okay, so let me just show you what I did here. As you guys can see, this is a joystick, and I mounted it on top of a ruler just for, you know, so I can shoot this video while holding a camera. And this is my Arduino. And I guess I'll be showing you guys now how to make this. Hey guys, so for the Arduino part, uh, it's actually very simple. All you need to have is a joystick, four female to male wires. Now what I have is five volt, and this is the ground. This is the five volt next to it. And then I have two that are the X and Y readings going to the analogous input. I decided to put A0 for X and A2 for Y. As for the setup of the joystick, it's also very simple. All you need to have is a balloon, obviously. You would have to make it, inflate it, and tie it. And then just grab this part of the balloon and dress it on top of the knob and use a, a little bit of glue. I used uh, silicone to actually make this so that whenever I hit this guy, it would respond with the joystick. Now I'll turn into the code. I'll show you how to work. Okay, welcome back guys. So in this part, I'm gonna be showing you how to write the Arduino code. Uh, like, like the ultrasonic, there's no need to incorporate any external libraries for the joystick, which is nice. So we're gonna go directly to the setup method. And as you can see, only I need to start the serial communication by writing serial.begin and deciding the speed. This is the default speed. And uh, what's interesting is that what when it comes to analogous input, I don't need to define the pen mode. What I usually do is write pen mode, I'll be giving it a certain number and deciding whether or not it's input or output. But this is only for digital and also for an analog output. But when it comes to the analog input, uh, there is no need. So we get directed to the loop. Inside of the loop, as you guys can see, I have read, I said that on each loop iteration, I want you to read the uh, a0 pen and store it as my x value and the A2 pen store it as my y value and this part is actually completely unnecessary the reason why I used it is because um, at first I wanted to send the information or the data as bytes in something known as the handshake principle but later on as you guys can see I decided to use the string processing method and what this guy anyways what this guy does the mapping is uh, it takes a given value, which is in this case x, and it takes its normal range, which is between this guy, 0, and this value, and it would map it to a new value from 0 to 255. And 255, I think, is the maximum number that you can send as a byte. If you were to send anything more, you would have some incorrect readings. But regardless, I kept it because it helped me manage my data better. The same thing applied to the y. And now, forget about this part for a second. We're gonna just talk about how do we send strings through this via the serial port. The very first thing that you wanna always do is to serial.flush, and this would clean the port from any previous readings or interfering values that may, you know, interfere with the readings. And you would always end it as serial.print.println. This is important because this is how we actually send strings. They are line by line. And in between, this is what I'm gonna do, serial.print my value x first Be without the ln as you guys can see, that this would do it on the same line and then dot print this part is important I think this is known as a delimiter part and the reason why this is important is because in unity I'll be receiving this, this is the x value let me comment this out, x comma and some y value how do I know which is x and which is y is through these guys the delimiter parts 
because I'm telling Unity to split the string that I was received using these special characters. So by splitting the string using these special characters and with two separate strings, the X and the Y. Obviously it can be replaced by a dot or actually anything, but for convention's sake, I'm just gonna stick with comma. Print the Y value. If I wanted to print additional values, literally all that I have to do is copy and paste this and send, for example, the Z value. And okay. And I think this is it. Now, let me explain this part of code to you guys. Let me use a program here. Okay, so basically, guys, this is going to be my joystick readings. Okay. Now, the interesting thing is that when the joystick is in the resting uh, phase, when you're not moving it left, right, or up or down, it's not actually at zero, zero but instead it's going to be at a median value between the minimum, which is 0, and the maximum, which is typically 1, 0, uh, 2, 3. But as you guys can remember, in my Arduino, I map my values to something new. So in my case, it's going to be 0 and 255. So this guy would have to be somewhere in between, and that is, I think it's about 1, 2, 40, 24. And so this is let's say this is the uh, y-axis this is the x-axis and according to your orientation this can be the maximum this is 255 or the minimum in my case this is going to be the zero and this is going to be the 255 and this is going to be the 124 the same thing applies to my x this is my zero this is going to be my 255 and this guy is also going to be 124 <clears throat> and i decided in my code as you guys can see in arduino I don't want to be sending string all the time, but instead when a certain condition, and this condition, what it says, it's if there was significant motion that is detected, say for example, if the joystick in the y-axis got to reach this point, then I want you to read or to send values, or for, for example, here, here, or here. And I decided for this value is also to be the median value between 124 and the maximum, and also 124 and the zero. So this guy is going to be 62, and this guy is also going to be 62. This guy is going to be 185, and this one is going to be 185. So only when the joystick comes here, here, and this, let me show you in a different color. In these areas, so hi, this area, or this area, or this here, or here. Then I want you to see sending the information, and this is the code. If x is greater than 185, or x is less than or so if at any given point either x or y have significantly moved then i want you to send the readings now uh, this delay right here is because if you guys have noticed when you hit the punching bag it would bounce back and forth and this would cause some noise so this is to sort of like get rid of that noise and the delay 20, this is to basically to dictate the speed of the loop. And since the loop today, uh, all, all that it does is just to send values. So this is going to be the right timeout. And this is also very important. In Unity, we always do the read timeout. And this is going to be the right timeout. And I think, like I said from experiment, from experience, this is, works very awesome for me. And 25 in Unity. Now for the unity part, I'll see you then.